control something like all of you. I don't even know your name. See me driving that old green Nova. Probably never would have heard of yoga. Be a bit of foot from a friend. But if I was a single man, alone and out there on the loop, I'd be looking for a woman. For a hundred years the other way Just fine, no over She said, talk about life So come on girl, seriously now If I hadn't been so lucky I'd be shooting food in my bachelor pad Song of the Year on A Woman Like You. Yeah, that was just a lot, but doesn't have it. It was, it was such an amazing day. And John is, gets talked into going and getting a tattoo. Wait, 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 wait. With Lee Bray. So, wait, 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 wait. So let's preface this with, this is, this is my first number one as a songwriter and a producer, and it was Lee's first number one as a singer and, and a producer. So, I got hammered drunk and, and got on a blackjack table at about 3 o'clock in the morning and ended up winning like 8 grand. Well, no, let me rephrase that. I was up 8 grand. And then, and how, how and then Lee walks up and he goes, dude, let's get a tattoo. And I was like, man, that does not sound like a good idea. So... He convinces me to get a tattoo of the day the woman like you went number one. And uh, he gets the same one, and it was like this cool homie moment. And I promptly lose $8,000. And then walk to the tattoo parlor, because clearly there's a tattoo parlor in the MGM Grand. And we get the date, a woman like you went number one, or what Google said was the date a woman, the woman like you went number one. We Googled it, 42112, we get there, we, he does this little dot on me, I do one on him, it's like this cool homie moment. And then uh, we get a call from our record rep the next morning that says, what did you do? <laughs> we were like, oh, that no, was cool, whatever, we got the date a woman like you at number one, she was like, you are off by 10 days. Oh, wait, wait, <laughs> who got it number one? <laughs> well, Blake Shelton had a big hit this day, I think it was Honey Bee. John Stone, number one fan of Blake Shelton. Big fan, big fan, big Blake Shelton fan. Anyways, you know, the real people that made this song go number one was y'all, so thank you so much for, you know, listening to this song, buying this record, you know, supporting us and country music and my buddy Lee Bryce. And if you know this last verse, I want you to sing it so loud. You ready for it? Yeah. 